Hey, what's up everyone? Brian Rich here. Yep, back for part two of this SS Balmoral Castle tutorial. And today we need to do decks, deck houses, doors, windows, and anything else I can think of. But it's me doing all the work though, because Brie, you're doing something else, aren't you? Yep, I'm doing my own project. Yep, so just gotta listen to me for the next however long it is, so. I'll see you in a little while, Brie. I might pop over and see you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do first, uh, I forgot what I was going to do now, alright, let's have a, look at, have a look at the thing, right, okay, so what we're going to do first, everyone, we're going to move over to what we were doing in the previous part, we're going to add some doors and windows, because I did point this out in the previous part, that these walls down here need doors and windows, now, my usual thing is, if I can just get a door first, uh, there, the usual thing to do is add a, get in there, add a pair of doors, and then say, five or six windows all the way along all the way along like this sort of how many is that one two three four five and then another one there and then a pair of doors again and it's the same process all the way along so you put a pair of doors half a dozen windows pair of doors half a dozen windows all the way along so that's what you want to do there and I will come back and sort that out between now and the next jump cut so that's that's that area done there there'll also be some pillars added as well but we'll worry about that in a bit now, next job we want to do is go up to the next deck, and we're going to add the next deck, or the next deck, uh, in, a, in the inside walls, and we're going to go to the front wall of the front of the deck, superstructure rather, <clears throat> and we're going to go to the fourth block back on the wood, I think, so we go on the centre block, go one, two, three, four back, and add a centre block there, and I think that's right. And then this inside front wall is going to be uh, 17 wide, so that is uh, 8 either side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, that way. There we go. So that's our front wall added there. And then at each end you want 2 out, so we'll go out 2 like that, and I'll do the same on the other side. 2 out like that. Marvellous. So, and then for the sides, it uh, doesn't matter which side you're on because it's the same both sides, we want. Uh, 17 back, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Or it could be 16, but no, we'll go with that 17. And then we want uh, 65, so put the first block and then I measure as I go along, so that should be 1 up to 65. All the way along the side. Oh, gone too far. And that is 65 there. That's marvellous. And then curving back in towards the centre again, we want uh, 25. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And then one more row of 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Like that. There we go. So do the same the other side. I'll do that in a minute. And then what we'll do, we'll increase that to 3 high. So I'll do the do the one side like that, so it's three high all the way along like so and then the next bit, the 65 part there make that three high and we use set quarter of this one So the front wall as well, increase that to three high. So I just do this one side for the minute. Like so, and then I do the front wall as well. So there we are, there's half of it done. So there's the front wall done and one half of the deck thingy done there. So what I'll do, I'll do a copy paste, may as well. Saves a lot of faffing around. So I don't normally use well did it, but I have excuses. So. How you doing, Bri? I'm doing good, babe. Thank you. How You're welcome. You? <laughs> You're welcome. So just quickly copy. How are you, man? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Thank you. Oh, welcome. Okay, flip, flip to the right, and then paste. There we go. So that's yeah, both sides done. There. There we are. So that's how it should look like that. And I do apologise for using well, did it, but you know, this me. So that's that bit done there and then across the back as well we need to join them together which is something I always forget 
So across the back here between left side and right side we add a wall across the back. Like so. And then because I'm blind at the moment I need to add the centre block. So that's 17 wide. So this is that block there I think. So that's the centre block there I do believe. There we go. So that's the inside walls done there and like I said on, like on the previous deck you can start adding the doors and windows to that and it should all look fine but like I said I'll do that in the next jump cut so we'll worry about that in a little bit the next job we want to do before we do do the, the jump cut is to add the deck itself on the top and we go back to the front wall again of what we just built and on the top centre block we add uh, four wood blocks forward so one block there and then uh, two, three, four like that and then a colour centre block to mark the centre like so to create an overhang and then you want to go out to the sides uh, 13 so from the centre go out 13 so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 same the other side 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 like that and then for the sides you want to go back 4 1, 2, 3, 4 and then you want 17, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Actually make it 16, because I had this problem in the last part, so make it 16. And then we want 70, so put the first block there. I want 70, it's 70. It could be 70 or it could be 69. We had this problem in the last part as well, so probably 70. But we'll measure as we get there, so it should be, if we build it 70 and then see how it goes. If it's too long by one then we know. So there we go, that's up to there and that is 70, that's fine. And then after that we want curving back in 25. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And then 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, like that. And there we go, that's that one side done. And then as it's a single line I do the same the other side because it's easy. <clears throat> so go down to the other end and do the same again. So we're back four, one, two, three, four, and then twenty uh seven uh sixteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, nine, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And then the uh, about the seventy all the way back. nearly there, oh gone over by, oh that's fine, that's fine, that's 70 there, and then we want 25, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, like that, and then 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then, like before, just join them together across the back, and that would be the outside edge of the deck done. Like so, and there we are. So then, what we're going to do is add that centre block in the middle again, and there we go. That creates the overhang of the deck, and that little jobby done there. Marvelous. Now, before we add the deck, we're going to add a wall underneath the overhang. So, we've got the overhang here. So, this is the back corner. So, what we're going to do is go down, build down to the deck level below, and then remove the top two blocks that we just added. So, it's in line with the deck above. Then we just add the wall all the way along the side because this will support the pillars, that will support the deck so there's a lot of support going on here so just add a line all the way along, all the way back to the front of the uh, this deck we've, uh, that we're on like I said I'll add the support the pillars when we add the pillars in a minute so just get this built all the way f to the front up to there like so and don't don't go across the front, just go up to that front corner like so because I'm looking at the prototype and it's no I don't think there's a wall across the front. Mm, no, there's not. Okay, so we just go from the corner back here to the corner at the front end, or front end here to the back end over there. Same this side. And then everything should match, match, match up just fine. Eh, this one. There 
Okay, that's the other side done like that. And there we are. Nice little jobby done there. <coughs> and then what we want to do now, last job is just to add the deck. And you can go from either the front to the back, but basically all you need to do is in the inside of this overhang, is add wood blocks like so. And what they'll do, they'll sit on top of the in inside board like that as well, so it's all lined up just nicely. So what you want to do is add that deck from the front, from the back here, all the way to the front, or whichever way you're working, and it should all look fine. So what I'll do, I'll do a jump cut while I fill in that deck, and what I'll do, I'll also do the doors and windows as well, and then everything should line up fine. So, uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So there's the deck added, and it should look something like that. I've also done the doors and windows on the uh, decks uh, below. So you've got doors and windows all along there, doors and windows all along there, and it should all look rather nice and neat. Next job I want to do is a quick one, sort of, is to add the pillars. Now you can either use wood fence, iron bars. I use, I tend to use end rods for this. So what we're going to do is every fourth block. If we go from the front of the uh, superstructure, if we go for the top deck first, or the the middle deck we add a pillar on the top of the corner there and then add a pillar every fourth block all the way along the side all the way along until we get to the end and also do the same on the deck below so right underneath that first pillar we add another pillar down below like that so basically you're just going to add pillars all the way along let's have to do the top deck first and then the, the, the bottom deck will follow along so i do the top deck first and then everything should work out fine. It's the same on both sides as well, so no real problems deciding which way you start. And another thing about end rods, they do glow in the dark as well, so they add a bit of light to the ship. Uh, so if you look at it during the night, you'll see these things glow quite nicely. Some people don't like that, some people prefer just uh, an op uh, uh, a non-illuminated ship. I like illuminated, I like bright lights. Especially ones that the police cars use when they're when they're chasing you. <laughs> okay. Um, of course, Christmas is coming. That's not nothing but bright lights. Anyway, let's get this done. Oh, hang on, nearly done to there. And then one more there. One, two, three, four. And the last one there. There we go. So there's our last pillar there. That's for the top deck. And then for the rest of the pillars underneath, they carry on up to the end of the opening. So if I carry on from this last pillar down here. And then one, two, three, four, carry on all the way along until we get to the end of this area. So one pillar there, and one, two, three, four, and the last pillar there. And there we go, that's where the where the pillars would end on that deck there. So we're just going to quickly add a corner block here. We're going to use some stairs, court stairs, to create the corner block in that bit there to create the curve. So that's that little job done there. And then for the rest of the time, we just add the pillars every fourth, blo 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 fourth block along on the bottom here and then I'll just do another jump cut while I uh, do the other side so this is one of those jobs, these things are a real pain, they're not as bad as iron bars when it comes to adding these things so end rods are what I prefer but you can use wood fence if you want to, I think birch fence would probably look best <coughs> on a, a ship of this sort of thing just the fence itself looks pretty crappy but the, the, the fence posts look fine that's just my opinion anyway so near the, the end, not quite. La 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 da da. Gotta be near the end now, aren't we? Yep, nearly at the end. And there we go, so there's all the pillars added on that side there. And it don't look too bad. If I look at the prototype. Yep, that's fine. There we are. So there's the pillars added all along the side there. So what I'm going to do now, I'll do another jump cut while I do the other side with the pillars, and then we'll move on to something else. So, uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. Hi everyone, Bree here. Yep, she's still here. <laughs> so there's the uh, pillars all done on that side. Are you okay, Bree? Mm-hmm. Good, 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 good. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. I'm doing good. Just getting ready for the next part. So what we want to do now is to add the next deck house, which goes on the top uh, front of the superstructure. So we go to the front wall of, or the front of the deck on the top, and we go to the third block back on the wood. So one, two, three. Add a color block there. And what we want to do then is build this front wall nine wide. So that's 
Uh, four either side. One, two, three, four that way. One, two, three, four that way. So it's nine wide like that. And then we want four out behind that. One, two, three, four like that. And one, two, three, four like that. Marvellous. And then for the sides, it's the same on both sides again, but it's going to be a bit more hickety piggledy because it's going to be in, out, out, in, in, out, and things like that. So, um, so we want to build the sides from this row of four here back 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then 12 like that. And then we want to go in 2, 1, 2, and then back 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then out 3, 1, 2, 3. And then back 28, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. And then after that we'll go in 3, 1, 2, 3. And then back 40, so I won't bother counting it, I'll just measure as I go along, so it's the first block. And then we want a line of 4, 0. Uh, so how many is that? That is 33. 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Yep, that's what it says at the end of the pink sentence. So it's back 40 like that, and then we'll go out 2, 1, 2, and then back 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then in 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then back 3, 1, 2, 3, and I think that's all that section done like that. If I look at the prototype, no, that's fine. So that's one side done. So what I'm going to do now, do quickly, quickly do the other side, and this I'll try and do it as quietly as I can. So back at the front it was 12, back, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then inwards 2, 1, 2, back 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, them. Out 3, 1, 2, 3, and then back 28, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, Yep, there we go. And then <laughs> inwards three, one, two, three. And then back uh, 40. Once again, I won't bother counting. I'll just measure it as I go along. Oh, missed one. But, 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 and I measure it again. So that's 40. That's fine. And then what was it? It was out two, one, two. Back 15, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, then 12, 13, 14, 15. And then inwards uh, four, one, two, three, four, and then back three, one, two, three, and then join them together across the back, one, two, three, four, five, and there we go. And that is centre block as well. And there we go. So that's our walls. They're done like that, and it should look something like that. If I look at the prototype, it should. Can't really tell, but it looks something like that. And what we're going to do then is go back to the front wall, and then we're going to add the bridge wing. So we just flop down to there, and the front wall. And the row of four, we're going to increase to four high, uh, three high, sorry, so two, three high, like so, so three high, like that, and then the row of four, three high as well. And the same the other side, like so. And then from the top front of this wall here, we're going to add th three blocks of wood forward, so one, two, three plus a centre block like so and then for the bridge wings and support we're going to go out to the side 17 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 out that way it does seem quite far out I'll just check the prototype I want to, want to, want to make sure I get this right uh, yeah that's fine it does go out quite a way so that's fine so it's 17 out and then at the end of the 17 we're going to go back 4 1 2 3 4 and then inwards nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm, make it ten. Like that. There we go. So yeah, that's that job done there. Do the same on the other side. So it's out seventeen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Back four. One, two, three, four. And then inwards ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. To connect onto the wall there. And it should look something like that. And then last job for this is to add oh, all the rest of the walls all the way around. Just increase them to four high. To the height of the bridge wings all the way around. Like so. so it should, in theory, look something like Well, in theory anyway. Look something like this. I'll do, the, I'll do a first few of these bits. Increase them to four high. And actually I just welded it. Because it makes life a lot easier. 
it uh, quartz, like that. Maybe. Uh huh. Good, good. <laughs> and just build this. Okay? Yep, I'm doing fine, thank you, Annie. Welcome, oh, money. <laughs> just add these walls all the way along. Like so. And like I say, I do one side and then I do a jump cut just to save a bit of time. Actually, I won't. I do, I do both sides, fuck it. <gasps> oh no, I swore I shouldn't have done that. Uh, and then up to the centre, like so. So there's half of it done like that. So it should look something like that. What I'll do, I'll quickly copy and paste to the other side because it just saves a lot of time. And then we can move on to the other job of adding the deck. Uh, so just quickly go up to the front end like so and then copy flip to the right and then we paste like so and there we go that's both sides done and that's the balls increased in height so it should in theory look something like that and that is the top top deck at, well not, not quite added yet but the top deck superstructure added um, and then the last job for this part is just to add the deck itself so go on the inside of the bridge wings and then add all these wood blocks like so and then the, the deck itself will sit on top of the front wall like so so it's not a big job to do so basically you just want to add this deck all the way from this front end at the bridge wings all the way to the back fill it all in and it should all look marvellous fine dandy and rosy and all things like that I'll do this first bit here by hand because it's quite therapeutic. There we go, so there's that first part done there. So like I said, I just want to carry on filling the deck all the way to the back and then everything should look fine. So what I'll do, I'll do a jump cut while I sort that out. Um, and also I'll do the doors and windows as well because these walls all along here will be doors and windows so um, I may do them in the next in the next jump cut. I'm not sure, but this is basically the same process as before. Doors and windows every fourth block or so, or a pair of doors and then six windows or something. It's all random, but if you've got deck plans, you can probably do a better job than me. But hey ho. So what I do I do that do a jump cut now, and I shall return in just a moment. Okay, back again. So I've added the deck and the windows to the deck house itself, or the superstructure. So the deck's all done, as you can see there. <clears throat> got all the windows and doors in place there as well so don't look too bad um, like I said these are all randomly placed so they are subject to change but uh, like I say you know have a, have a good look at how I've laid them out but the best thing to do is just lay them out the best way you can because some of them you can take out and replace and things like that but you know it's not too bad um, so that's that job done there the next job is just to go back to the bridge wings over here and we're going to add some stairs from the corner here going down. So these windows here are kind of irrelevant. So this is why I do things randomly, so not to get things in the way. So we get our wood stairs, wherever they are. There they are. And we're going to add from the corner block, just remove the corner block there, and just add stairs going down from the bridge wings down to the deck like so, and then add supports underneath. Blop, blop, blop. And then two up, two up, two up there like that. There you go, so that's that side done there. Do the same this side. Add a block, we'll take that one away and add the stairs going down like so. And then the blocks underneath, blip, blip, blip. And then the stairs, two up, two up, two up, like that. There we go. So that's our bridge wing things there. And the bridge ship ain't looking too. If we have a quick look away from the ship, just have a good gander at what we got. And for two videos, this ain't doing too bad, is it? I'm quite impressed with that. Anyway, next job is to add the ship's wheelhouse. And what we're going to do, we're going to add the wheelhouse and then add the funnel supports after that. So, we add, you know, the funnel placements. So, we'll see how we go with that one. Uh, so, what we're going to do now is add a wall around the front of the bridge wheel bridge wings. So, we'll add a or wheelhouse as well. So, we'll go from the centre and add a wall around the front, around the bridge wings, round to the stairs. So, we'll add that now. Going around like so and then up to the stairs like that. There you go. And then do the same the other side. Add our stairs going around to our stairs. Like that, there you go. There's our wall added there. And then we add the bridge wheelhouse. We go to the front centre block again. And for the wheelhouse, it's going to be 
literally three windows. So a window two blocks high like that in the center, and then two or one either side like that. So you get three windows like that. And then we want to add pillars in between, and then pillars to the side, like so. There you go. There's your wheelhouse like that. And then what we do on top of, on that last pillar on the outside, we we'll add a, another block up on the outside like that. And then across the front of the wheelhouse, we'll add a line of blocks like so to create an overhang like that. There you go. So that's the front of your wheelhouse. And then for the side walls behind that pillar, the side walls are going to be seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Same the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then increase that to four high on both sides, and then across the back as well, so it's all four high all the way around. And then this side here as well. Bree's not here as well, uh, either as well, she's just gone to take a nap, so it's just me till the end of the video, I think. Um, so there we are, so anyway, that's that deck house done. And then we add the roof, which is basically wood blocks like so and there we go there's our deck house done like that and then we can add some windows and doors to it so get our doors and then we'll add a window to the side like that and then a door behind that two doors like that and then another window like that so there's your side like that so there's window doors window like that not accurate to the real ship, but you know what is in my world. Windows either side, then a doors in the middle, like that. There we go. And there is our wheelhouse. There's only a tiddly one, but it does the job. Um, next job, we can. I think we can add the bridge wing things as well. Yeah, we can. We can. We can. We can. So are these bridge wings the same size. One, two, three. Yeah, I think they're fine. Okay, okay, get any problem. Okay, what we're going to do is go, <laughs> go to the side of the bridge wings, the outside edges here. And we're in the corner, it's going to add two blocks up like that. And the same again, the other corner, two blocks up. And in the middle block here on the side, add a two block up like that. And then in in two blocks from the outside, add two blocks there. And then at the back, two blocks there like that. So you've got pillars looking like that. And then either use blocks or slabs. I'm going to use slabs. We'll add slabs for the roof of this bridge wing cover. Like that. So you got these little bridge wing supports like that. Look kinda of like a little shed on the side. Um we'll do the same the other side. So two up, oop, two up there, two up there, two up there, two up there, and two up there. And then lastly the bridge uh, slab roofs. Like that. There we go. That's that little job done there. And uh, that's the ship's wheelhouse looking a bit alright, isn't it? Not looking too bad. Alright, now the next job is to add the funnel bases. We'll, we, we might get the funnels done in this video, I'm not sure, but we'll get the bases done anyway. Um, so if we go to the back of the ship's wheelhouse and look at the prototype, and then we go back to this one. So the, we'll put a marker in the centre block of the wheelhouse on the back. And then for the funnel, we're going to go back from the from the uh, from the wheelhouse, we're going to go to the tenth block back on the deck. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we'll add our funnel there. So it's three wide for the funnel, and this is just a just the base I'm going to do. So it's three wide, and then we want two out to the side, two out to the side like that, and the same the other side, two out, two out like that, and then we want three back, one, two, three. Same the other side, one, two, three, and then it's two, two, back in again. So two, two, other side, two, two, join together like that. And there you go. There's the funnel base, looking like that. It's a, it's a, it's a circle rather than an oval. Actually, it is, it is a, it is a slight oval, isn't it? Yeah, because the sides are longer than the front. Oh well, it's a slight oval. And then for the next funnel, we're going to go from the back on the deck here. So this count, this is block number one here going to count from there to the 37th block back so that's the first block there and then count 37 back so that's 15 20 29 30 31 2 3 4 5 6 7 so the 37th block back we do the same again so it's the same design so it's three wide like so and then two out two out two two out two out and then three back one two three 
one, two, three, and then two, 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 one there. And there we go. That's funnel number two added, or the base done anyway. I can't, like I said, I'll probably get the funnels done in this part, but not just yet. We just want to get the deck houses on the top sorted, and then we can uh, move on from there. So that's the funnel placements done. So what I'm going to do now is go back to the first funnel, go behind the first funnel, which is this one here, and we're going to add the first skylight, which is a big old unit. And we're going to go from the back of the funnel, go to the fourth block back. So one, two, three, four, and add a centre block. And then the funnel, um, the deck skylight itself is, I think it's more of a deck house than a skylight, but we'll go with a skylight for the minute. So it's 11 wide, so it's five either side. So one, two, three, four, five that way. Is it 11 wide? Oh no, hang on, hang on. It's 5 either side, I think, is it? Hang on. I need to, go, <laughs> I need to check this because I can't remember. Uh, I think. I think the funnel might be too far forward, I'm not sure. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. If we make it. Uh, well, I did say 4th block back then. If we make it the 5th block back, it'd be easier that way, so. Yeah, so if we go. Instead of going four, we we'll go one, two, three, four, five blocks back. That may be better. And then the then the deck house itself would be eleven wide, which is five either side. So one, two, three, four, five that way. One, two, three, four, five that way. There we go. That's better. So now we've got a walkway around it rather than a than a no gap at all. Apologies for that. And then for this deck house, it is going to be the sides are going to be 22. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Same the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Same the other side. I won't bother counting. Like that. And then across the back. And then centre line there. And then we increase the height to two blocks height all the way around. I do apologise if I'm going too fast in this tutorial, but I'm enjoying myself. I'm actually back into this sort of thing. I'm a bit rusty, yeah, but I'm enjoying what I'm doing. And there we go. That's that increased in height. And then we get stairs. Our court stairs for uh, the top, uh, for the edges. So I add court stairs all the way around. Does it make this thing sort of have a design to it? I don't think it's actually like this on the real ship, but then again, I do tend to wing things because information, deck plans, and all that stuff are not always readily available. We'll just go with the flow. And there we go, that's that bit done there. And then, last job is to add the support pillars, uh, sort of a skeleton, if you like. So, if we use court slabs for this one, we go from the centre top of the stairs and just build a, a spine of court slabs going the full length of the deck house like that and then we'll add ribs every second block so add a rib there and then another one like that and it's four slabs for each rib like that Get. That's one side done. I'll do a copy paste for the other side because it does take a little bit of time. So just copy, uh, where is it? Copy, flip, and then paste. And there we go. That's that uh, deck house slash skylight done there. And it don't look too bad. And then for the next skylight, it will go behind the second funnel. So <clears throat> if we go to the second funnel, and then from there we go to. Uh, go to the. Hang on, we need to go. <laughs> I can't read. I can't read my right. I think it's fourteen. So if we go from this this funnel here and go count to the fourteenth back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And put our block there, centre block, and then this this deck house slash skylight is uh, seven wide. So it's three either side. One, two, three that way. One, two, three that way. Let me just check the prototype, can't really see. And then for the sides it is six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Same the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Join them together across the back and add a centre block on the back as well. And it's it's basically the same sort of same sort of concept. So you build it two blocks high all the way around. 
and then we add our stairs around the tops and then the spine again of slabs and then the ribs like so and there we go there's that skylight slash deck house done there and the ship ain't looking too bad so what I'm going to do now I'm going to do another jump cut because I'm not written down too much I might do the funnels actually get those out of the way and then uh, we could move on to the next thing after that so uh, to return in just a moment jump cut time okay back again so what I'm going to do now is move on to the funnels and these are an easy design so we'll probably do one funnel and then copy it to the other funnel so it's going to be quite easy but we've got the bases in place in both sides so what we're going to do is go from the center of the front and it's basically the same all the way around so from the center front we want to build up in red five one two three four five behind that one eleven up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and then two one two and then in black up five one two three four five easy design do the same thing on all the sections all the way around so basically build them on that block there that block there that block there and then there 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 and there all the way around so the same design all the way around so it's up the five up the 11 and then the two and then the black like so then the next row along same design again like that and then of course move on to the next row up the oh, up the five so as you've already got the base in place as well so it counts it make it make, makes it six this bottom row but of course we've already got the base in place so you're just adding five to the base and the funnel take a shape already so two four five I'll just do one side of the funnel just to save a bit of time. that's half the funnel done so you get, you get the idea of how it's meant to look and you just go on the inside and fill it fill in the gaps and then the black like so there we go so that's one half of the funnel done what I'll do I'll quickly copy that to the other side because it's the same it's the same concept all the way around because it's well that it's quite easy to use at the moment we just do the bare minimum so just go copy flip and then paste so it's both sides done like that and don't look much at the moment because I mean it's an awkward shape but you know it's what you can do and then for the slant of the black um, sorry I had an email then sorry um, so for the funnel slant of the black at the top what we do go to the top of the black and we count get look at it side on and then we remove we count to the fourth fifth block back so one two three four and on the fifth block we remove four so one two three four and do the same the other side so it's even so count look at it side on count back five or count back four so one two three four and then on the fifth block remove one two three four plus the center there and there we go there's the slant at the top and then we do the same kind of underneath so go to the front looking at side on looking at the top of the red and then count to the fifth fourth block back so one two three four and on the fifth block go one and replace it with black so it's one two three four like that and there you go that creates the slant of the funnel like so so I do the same on the other side again so it's count back one two three four and then remove one two oh. <laughs> one two three four plus the center and there we go there's the funnel or the funnel shape slant whatever and it don't look too bad extra details to the funnel include the ladder to the front so we'll get our black concrete first and add a line of black concrete up the center of the front like so it's just following the contours of the red up to the bottom of the black like so and then using our ladder add a ladder to the front like 
like so and then using cobblestone wall I used for this but it's up to you what you want to do you can put a couple of whistles at the top like that either two whistles like that or a single whistle like that or actually do all three there so there you go there's the first funnel done and uh, they don't look too bad so basically you just do that same design exactly the same minus the whistles on the uh, second funnel over there and it shouldn't look too bad um, so yeah that's uh, that's that little job to do so what I'm going to do I do a jump cut when I do that other funnel um, and then we'll move on to something else so uh, back in a moment okay back again so there's both funnels in place and the ship should look something like that not looking too bad got pretty much the whole silhouette done I think and uh, not looking too bad marvellous right so what we're going to do now is move on to the stern uh, there's another deck house to go on the superstructure up there but we'll worry about that another day what we're going to do now is go back to the stern of the ship and we're going to add the stern deck house uh, which will go right at the back of the ship here so we're going to go right to the back end and on the wood we're going to count forward to the seventh block forward so is it seventh block uh, no, eighth block sorry so it's one two three four five six seven eight and I'll put a center block there so it's eighth block forward and then we're going to make this wall seven wide so it's three other side one two three one two three and then the side you want to go forward and um, two rows and nine so one two three four five six seven eight nine nine again one two three four five six seven eight nine and then we want out two one two and then forward ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and that's that side i think and then do the same on the other side so it's forward nine and nine one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight nine Two out plus ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then join them together across the front, like so. And mark the center as well. There we go. So that's that bit. And then what we'll do then is increase the height all the way around to three high. Like so. Three high all the way around. And you can start adding doors or windows as well as we want to these walls. No big deal. And then up this side as well. I'm doing it all by hand because why not? I know a lot of people do complain that I do use world edit too much, but you know, I don't care. And there we go, that's one increased in height like so, so that's the deck house done like that. And like I say, you can add the doors or windows if you want to, but I might do that in a jump cut, I don't know. Um, anyway, for the next part we're going to add the overhang, so we go to the front wall, which is this long wall here. We're going to go to the centre block on the front, on the top, and i put my notes away and get my notes back again. So from the front top we're going to add four blocks of wood going forward, so we're going to add one, and then two, three, four plus a centre block like that and then for the overhang we're going to build outwards um, so it's the same on both sides we're going to build outwards five from the centre so one two three four five like that and then back three one two three and then out six one two three four five six and that goes right to the outside edge of the ship like that and then from there you want to go back uh, back five so one two three four five and I think that could be, make that 6, make it 6, like that. And then we want 10, which could be 9, so we make it 10 a minute. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, make it 9. <laughs> and then we want, um, and then we want, what do we want? We want 3, so 1, 2, 3, like that. And then we want uh, 3 rows of 2, so 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, like that. I think that's right. And then we want... 14 but this could be 15 so we'll go 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 uh, 14 yep 14 like that and then we want th uh, I think it's four rows of two so we go 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 yep like that so it's four rows of two like that there we go up to the center I'll put a center block there as well so that's the center there so now we do the same the other side 
So out from the middle, we go out five. So one, two, three, four, five, and then back three. One, two, three, and then out six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And what is it then? It was back six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, and then three. One, two, three. And then two, two, two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Make sure that's lined up, and then we want 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then four rows of two. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, like that. And there we go. That's that little deck house done like that. Kind of like a space rocket with a chap's eye on it. Um, and then we'll add the deck. So if we go from either way, as long as we go from those wood blocks at the front here, just add the deck from there basically. And this goes from the front here all the way to the back at the point. So I'll use the first few blocks like so. And then just carry that all the way to the back end. I can use the fill tool for this one, so what I'll do, I'll save the world first. I'm always getting in trouble. For when I crash the server, so that's for that saved. So we use the fill tool, so fill wood by 200, and that fills in that area there. So there you go, there's the deck all filled in there, and uh, it don't look too bad. Marvelous. So, next job we want to do now is to go to the front corner of where the deck goes out to the side. So you've got the row of five out, three back, and then six out. Where the six out reaches the end here. Directly below that, we want to add a block there, like so, and basically add a wall all the way around the back of the stern to the other side in the same place. So we just add a wall all the way around, and these bits will join together like so. So they're all linked together, so you overlap one block like so. Oop, just carry on all the way down around the back like so, and then interlock these ones as well. All the way around and then up to the front end like so and there we go that's that little job done there and then underneath that overhang we're going to add some pillars now these are the same pillars as before these are end rods and there's only going to be four of these so I'll add the first one here on the corner so the first one there like so and then a fourth block gap or fourth block back and another one fourth block back again Add another one and fourth block back again. Add another one. So you only get four pillars like so. But it don't look too bad. And then do the same on the other side. So from the front here, add a pillar there. Oh shit, add a pillar like that. And then another one like that. And then another one like that. And then another one like that. There we go. So that's our four pillars added there. And it don't look too bad. So that's that little job done there. There will be more detail to go on the top here later on, like, um, well, you can see in the distance, you've got lifeboats and handrails, and I think there's a skylight as well, but we'll worry about them another time. There's two more pillars to add on the back end as well, which I forgot. So there's two pillars either side of the red block. Add a pillar each side, like so. And there you go, that's that support done there. And that don't look too bad. And then what we can do is add the portholes to this to the white section here as well. So if we go to where the wall goes outwards, and I've missed a pillar here somewhere, so I've got this last pillar. So one, two, three, four pillar there plus the stairs. I didn't actually copy that, so that's the other side. I didn't copy from the other side properly, so there we go. Anyway, what we're gonna do now is add the portholes. So if we go from this stair block, we go three black three back, one, two, three. Actually one, two, three, and then add the porthole there. And we go every fourth block, add a porthole or a window, all the way back around the, basically to the end of the stern. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. But it doesn't matter, put one in the center there like that. There you go. So there you go, you get your windows on the back end like that and it don't look too bad not brilliant not perfect but you know it'll, it'll do so let's quickly do the other side as well there 
A lot of noisy motorbikes today. I do apologise for the noise. Four there, one, two, three, four there, one, two, three, four, and there we go. That's the last, last of them done. That's the windows added, and it don't look too bad. And I think the last job for this area is just to add the doors or windows to the inner walls here. So I do these quickly as I can. Might take a nap myself in a minute. doing too bad I mean we're getting quite a lot done in these videos and I'm quite happy getting back into it don't know if I'm doing this bit right but I don't know <laughs> actually I can't keep that as white I don't know what I'm doing here uh, another pair of doors there Luckily, these are just random anyway, so you don't need to do these in any specific order. There we go, so there's those bits done there. And that's that job done, so. We've achieved quite a lot. We got the ship almost completely done. And I'm quite impressed with what we have, so that's part two of the Balmoral Castle done. And the ship is almost done. I think we can probably do one more video and then the whole thing will be done. That's quite a lot of ship done and I'm quite impressed with that. So I think the next part will be the forecastle details, boat deck details, uh, lifeboats, propellers, rudder, cranes and things. It's, it's taking ship so quickly. It's it's it's, it's weird. But hey, hey, there we go. So that's, that's part two, as I was saying. That's part two done. And part three will be all those things. We may get... Probably, probably will. I will try and squeeze as much as I can into the next video to get it done in three videos. So we'll wait and see on that one. But uh, we'll wait and see. Like I keep saying. Uh, so yeah, it's been fun. So this is Rich signing off, logging off, and disappearing. And I shall try and return and do everything in part three. Um, with Bree as well, maybe. But uh, we'll wait and see again. So uh, we'll leave it at that. So this is Rich disappearing, and I shall see you all in part three. Bye for now.